Uh, name is Chris, Free the Robots, from Los Angeles, California, out here in London, rocking with DJ Crush and Attica Blues. <laughs> I'm deeply rooted as a DJ. Uh, turntablism and you know the battle scene has always been part of my my history. Um, and you know, DJing, rocking parties, and stuff like that. And, you know, these shows, electronic shows, they're, they're kind of in that realm of you know you want to you want to challenge the audience with how deep you can get. But at the same time, you know, I've always been a DJ too, so. I'm trying to create that balance of challenge and just having fun, really. It's, just, it's all I really want to do with music and, and, and share with people. How, what I do on stage is, is more, you know, the classic Free the Robots, how it's always been. Um, just DJing my own music and flipping other music as well to kind of make this, you know, up and down experience. Um, you know, in the studio is completely different. It's me trying to make something completely original and just take it, see what, see where my mind goes. <laughs> Lately, I've been trying to uh, develop myself as a musician more, and um, I don't know. Sometimes I, I just kind of let things happen. Uh, I memorize certain things that I would play and improvise. Really, turn a mistake into something tangible, something that can make a song, you know. Um, I'm just kind of letting myself go. I feel like sometimes when you think too much, you just kind of overdo it or or whatever. I don't know. I just like to let things flow and um, I'm just learning, really. <laughs> as far as equipment goes, I, I keep it old school, but granted, the uh, my original program has gotten way better since its heyday, uh, since back in the days, I mean, um, is Reason. I use, still use Reason. <laughs> um, mainly that and uh, I just, external stuff, Moog, Casio, um, some stuff from Novation, and uh, just a lot of different keyboards, you know, the classics, microcorgs and stuff like that. Um, Rhodes, definitely the Rhodes. And uh, getting back into playing guitar more doing some really weird psychedelic stuff and starting to get in like the whole pedals game of just uh, I don't know just getting those those weird 60s sounds that you can't really remake digitally on a computer really I'm trying to um, you know get those textures and hopefully work on just a little bit more drums I gotta get I gotta get uh, I gotta find some like solid vintage kits, but that's all in the works right now. Just trying to master the keyboards and different instruments. Uh, you know, I was just always a beat maker for a while. Um, and I've always played, but you know, I wanna. My mission is to recreate original jazz music and original psych music, and you know. Um, <clears throat> Just get better, <laughs> really. Yeah, just uh, I want to, you know, just see how far I can take it. And I've been experimenting quite a bit. I've actually on the down low made a frog jazz record that I'm kind of sitting on right now. And I don't know how I want to release it or if I want to call it Free the Robots. But it was a moment that I recorded that that uh, opened up a whole new way of playing and approach approaching music. You know, focusing on the sounds and um, improvisation. Yeah, there is a few things in the works right now. Uh, I have been doing a lot of hip hop stuff with my buddy Opio from Souls of Mischief. Also have a uh, record split coming out with Lefto from Brussels, which is coming out on uh, New Los Angeles eventually. But that's finished, and you know those are all in the works. But as far as the Free the Robots record. Um, it's a process, you know, I'm not trying to rush myself, especially because it's, it's another brand new journey again, once again, like, I don't know where the music is going to go, but, uh, we'll see, hopefully this year, if not, definitely next year, other than the new music that's going on, 
stay tuned for uh, <laughs> stay tuned for some side projects too. Some might like you'll probably never know that it is the Free the Robots project behind it, but uh, I don't know. I feel like creating without the um, the pressure of having a history attached to it is uh, kind of where I'm at right now. So. Tons of different weird little side projects will start happening soon <laughs> that uh, I'm probably going to release on a whim, but we'll see. Cool.